Hello guys, this is Vivek Sharma and welcome to yet another Unity tutorial on cshapconnor.com. In this video, we will be learning about scene management and we will be creating a restart screen for our game. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So to begin with, let's go to our pause menu and create a new button to restart our game. To do that, I'm just going to copy the resume button. I'm going to change the font. I'm going to rename the button and I will remove this function. Now let's go to our scripts folder and create a new script and rename is add load scene. Let's double click on it to open this up. First of all, we will be deleting the start and update method from here. And then we will have to use another namespace called unity engine dot scene management. Using scene management, we can load different scenes. Now let's create a new public function called load screen, which takes a string as a parameter, which is going to be the name of the scene you want to load. Inside this, we just have to write scene manager dot load scene and it takes the name of the scene you want to load as a parameter. Now let's get back to Unity, go to canvas, click on add component and let's add the load scene script to our canvas. Now click on our restart button, go to the inspector panel and on click event, let's add the function we just created. That is load scene script, load scene. Perfect. Now over here, we have an exposed string field in which we have to enter the name of the scene we want to load. Let's write game scene into it. Let's go back to assets panel, click on the scenes folder and rename the sample scene to the game scene. Now let's hit play, pause the game and click on restart button to restart the scene and also get ready for a new problem. So over here, as you can see, our dinosaur is not moving. The reason being when we paused our game, we set it the time dot time scale equal to zero. And when we restarted it, we haven't changed the time scale to one again. So to do that, let's go back to our load scene script. And over here, let's write time dot time scale equal to one. And it should work now. Let's get back to Unity. Let's hit play. And as we can see, everything is working properly. Now let's quickly create a restart screen as well, which shows up whenever the game ends. To do that, go to canvas, create an empty game object, Call it game over menu. Inside it, create an image, which we will be using as a background. Now create a text and just write whatever you want to write. Game over, you write whatever you wish. I will be using you died. And then quickly create a new button, change its size, change its font and rename it to restart button. And then as we done earlier, assign the load scene function to this button. Now let's go to our dino script. Let's create a public game object and call it game over screen. Now go to the kill dino function and just write game over screen dot set active equal to true. That's it. Let's get back to unity. Now click on the dino player, go to the dino script over here. We have got an exposed field for our game over screen, drag the game over menu from hierarchy panel to this exposed field and let's hit play. So now, as you can see, whenever our dino dies, we get this restart screen and by clicking on restart button, we can restart the game. Okay. So that's it for this video and probably that's it for this game development series as well. I hope you guys like this series and also have learned something. If you guys have any doubts related to this series or related to anything regarding Unity, you can get in touch with me anytime. So goodbye, have fun and don't forget to follow and subscribe because the best is yet to come. Yeah.